guys, today I wanted to share with you the Crazy Beaver shovel. Um, I had saw one of these a while ago on a guy's truck and had been wanting to try one out since then. Um, they're made in Colorado, a small company. Um, I think originally they were designed in, uh, the guy lived in New Mexico, the owner of the company. Um, I think he was a first responder of some sort. And so he came up with this, this shovel. Um, it's super heavy duty and um, you know, really a step up from what I had before. I used to just have sort of a standard garden shovel, construction shovel that I bought at Home Depot, I think, or something like that. So this thing is definitely a, a step up. You know, the most obvious characteristic of it are these gnarly teeth. And um, there's a lot of other stuff, you know, put into it though that, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about. You know, a shovel's a really good thing to have. Uh, it's really just basic off-road gear. Um, there's a lot of situations where you don't you don't need a you know a tow or a winch to get out of a situation. You can just sort of dig yourself out if you're stuck in mud or sand. Throw some traction underneath, whether it's max tracks or just sticks or rocks. Um, they're also super handy around the camp campsite. You know, digging a latrine if you need to. Um, throwing some sand on a fire. Uh, it's just, you know, I use this at home also. I've been using it at home um, for doing like landscape projects. Um, anyway, I uh, there's also gonna be a review on the site, ordealist.com, where I'll go into a lot more detail, but I just wanted to sort of share some of the highlights in case it's helpful and, you know, you happen to be looking for a shovel and have seen this and wondered how it was. One thing that's really good to look for when you're getting an off-roading shovel, a really ending shovel, a camping shovel is, looking for a spade shaped blade um, you want that that tip so that you can cut into the ground you know hard ground or if it's ice whatever you're digging in a flat shovels great for loose powder snow you know those are what a lot of avalanche shovels look like but for off-roading and just general camping something with a spade blade a shaped blade is much better um, this you know they obviously have taken this to a whole nother level by putting these serrated teeth along the edge of the spade. It's still that spade shape, but they've also you know, cut away so it's pointed. Uh, I, you know, I'll be honest, when I first saw them, I was a little worried that these might be weak, uh, might be something that would break. But um, you know, the, the head itself is made of 13 gauge steel, I believe, which is heavy duty. I mean, this is much heavier duty than a garden shovel you'd normally get. Um, and then these are actually additionally reinforced with probably can't see them but they, they swelled them here it kind of made a little fold and a swell in the back to thicken it there which makes them even stronger i've been testing it out for a few weeks now and um you know i i live in a part of san diego that the soil is like clay and rocks it's super uh unpleasant to work in i know i've done a lot of landscaping projects so i actually tested it out there because i figured that's as as rough a condition as i would probably use it in and i um I've been banging it into the ground quite a bit and these things have held up just fine. I mean, like any um, shovel, you know, it, it's it's anodized with this nice red surface, but a coating, but the, uh, you know, the, the, the that does wear off, which is, um, you know, it's no big deal. I mean, the point is to avoid rust. And so, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get some, some of it worn down on the tips, the blade where you're, you're using it a lot. Uh, it actually has this metal um, collar that holds the handle to the, the shovel head. And there is a reinforcing rod inside of here to strengthen this whole thing. This is a common uh, point of breakage with a shovel. So they've reinforced it inside there. The handle is, is really uh, durable. I don't, I don't see you breaking this. I actually, on my, my wooden hand, uh, shovel that I usually used to use, um, the wood, you know, especially if you keep it on top of your truck, I keep mine kind of just up there and on top on the roof rack and it, uh, the sun gets to it, it bleaches, the wood dries out and cracks and mine actually did crack. I hear, I, it's still together, but I can hear it's about to come apart. So it's one reason I was in the, um, in the market for a new shovel. Um, the nice D grip handle, which I, I prefer. Um, I like the length of this, you know, if it's on the ground, it comes up to just below my hip, which is about right. You know, maybe a little longer if I had to do a lot of digging would be nice, but then you, you know, you end up with a longer shovel you got to deal with. So I kind of like a shorter shovel just for its compactness. 
Um, the handle actually does come off. I don't know if you can see that pin, but it comes off with this, this pin. You pull out the pin and then you can pull the handle off. And, um, you know, they, um, the company says you, know, you could store things down in there. You could put some, uh, you know, emergency gear, some matches, fishing line, things like that, um, which is probably fine. Um, wouldn't hurt to have a little extra stuff down in there. Um, you know, I, I don't know that it's, it's you know, a huge benefit to, for this shovel, but um, definitely, you know, not a bad thing. And I don't think it's a, uh, I don't think it really significantly weakens it. So, you know, why not? Let's see if we can get this pin back in. <laughs> there you go. And then you put the pin you know, back in there. I don't think they're really, any deal breakers with this shovel you know it is it is shorter than some of the shovel some shovels you might get for construction and gardening so if you're really going to be using it a lot for construction um, doing landscape projects you know you might and you want a longer shovel uh, that might be one thing to consider um, you know longer shovel you can strap onto the top of your car and it doesn't really take up that much space the other thing, you know, it may be these teeth, just having it fluid. You know, I, I'll admit I have a, a six-year-old son, and, you know, when I first got the shovel, I was kind of like, eh, you know, is he going to, I don't know, somehow end up messing with this and getting hurt? Um, you know, I'm going to keep it away from him mostly, but something to consider. I don't really, you know, these actually aren't that sharp. They're just pointed, so, and they're actually kind of rounded at the tips. So I don't, I don't see it being that big of a deal. You know, I don't know if this was inside my vehicle. I wouldn't want it flying around in an accident. So something to consider. Uh, they do actually offer a guard. The company sells a guard, which if I was keeping inside the car, I probably would get the guard. I still might get it just to, just for you know safety reasons. One thing I didn't mention is I didn't use it in ice and snow. Um, it's summer here, or not summer, it's spring here in Southern California right now. So I haven't, you know, gotten it out and when I was snow wheeling or anything. So I assume it would be really good for that. It seems like these teeth would be great for breaking through like snow crust and ice. Um, overall, I think it's a great shovel. I think, you know, for overlanding and off-roading, it's terrific. If you're looking for a super lightweight shovel uh, that's compact to throw in a backpack, maybe not this one, but for overlanding and off-roading, it's definitely a good choice. Hope that was helpful. Um, have fun out there and be safe.